So, how are you? Good night, uh, gratulere uh, me again. <laughs> Thank you so much! I know it's your, it's, it's your day, it's uh, national day, so um, I wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you have been on the stage now. Yes, we were just after the first rehearsal. It was, I think, it was very great. We um, we are so surprised, amazingly surprised, that everything is perfect. It's completely perfect, and I am so happy that we could came to Oslo to represent our country, Poland. Tell us about your performance. Tell us about what's happening on stage. What's happening on the stage? It was a big surprise, um, which we make for Oslo. And um, there are four dancers and singers, and we have uh, some costumes, also um, stylized for um, folk. And we have a great, fantastic singer, Veronica. Um, she was a representative of Poland in junior Eurovision uh, Song Contest in 2004. Uh, so she's probably the first one um, who is. <laughs> Who was on the junior one, <laughs> and now she is on the adult one. <laughs> yeah, how is it? How is it to to come from the junior one to the adult Eurovision Song Contest? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> We asked Norge. <laughs> wow, you even learned the written words. Yes, she was in, in Norway because in 2004 it was in Lillehammer, so it was uh, Norway, so she just remembered that word. And I'm so happy because I still try to try to repeat it and it's a bit hard for me, but I promise you for tomorrow I will say it as well as the uh, Norway is my favorite uh, country in Europe. <laughs> But we have to see uh, the, uh, the dresses. Can, yes. can you make them stand up? Can, can you please stand up and, and tell us about tell us about the dresses? Tell us about the dress. Look how it looks like. It's it's very beautiful. It's typical traditional uh, costume from Poland. And girls are two solists of uh, national folk and dance company. Uh, it's for the first time that that amazing group folk and dance group are going to some pop, uh, I think so, um, contest. So I am so proud of, of, of being the first Polish <laughs> which can sing with, with that beautiful ladies. Tell us about your song. Tell us about, what, what it's about. It's a song called Legenda. Um, it's a story about love. It's a story about passion. Um, and it's a story about um, unfaithful. And um, I think it's it was made exactly from my heart because I always wanted to do some some mixture of uh, folk, of Polish folk, and I wanted to do some mixture with uh, pop music. And um, I think the dramatic uh, legenda looks like a big smile. <laughs> How would you describe your music? music? How would you describe your music? My music, okay. Uh, actually, I'm a dancer. Okay. My friend, we are a dancer. A double dancer, yes. I think the music is great and I really like to dance to this music. I also feel this in my heart. So, it's... And I don't want to, uh, I think, uh, explain what we are doing, what's happening on stage uh, between us. But because you will see this, <laughs> so... How did you come up with the idea of the performance, since, since using uh, traditional uh, dresses and stuff? Um, the idea was that to show as much as we can and to be as much Polish as we can, because um, last, last entries we didn't send Polish songs, typical Polish songs. We, we didn't have possibility to show something really Polish. And this year I wanted to show Poland uh, because it's our country and we are so proud to, to represent our country. Why do you think that will help you to, to win the Eurovision? To, to show Poland? Well, I don't know if it helps us to, to win because votes will help us to win. Um, but we will do our best to, to, to do as best as possible. And as you said, my music, it just reminded me a new version of a new 
new, new, new musical, uh, the sequel of the Phantom of the Opera. And I know that song, My music, my music, let it fly. Very beautiful song. And, um, well, I am I'm singing Raoul in the Phantom of the Opera in Poland because I do lots of musicals in Poland. Uh, I also sing in a musical called Voivend, uh, Royal Sean, and uh, I am playing in two other um, shows. And now uh, we are preparing a new show, uh, Le Miserable, uh, new musical, and I got the role of Marius. And Paulina, uh, she is a choreographer of uh, the Phantom of the Opera, and now she is a choreographer of Le Miserable. And Veronica is singing Cosette. <laughs> so we are, we, are, we are all from the theatre. <laughs> How do you use your theatrical uh, experience on the Eurovision stage? Well, it is, it is very important for me to, to work every day in the theatre. Because um, working with audience, you know, it's, it's really important for me to go out on the stage and sing for the people and get the energy from, from the audience because uh, theatre has something really important. Uh, that the energy um, with audience, it is wow, something amazing. I just, I, I just counted down my, my my shows, and I I think I played 500 times for 1,000 people. So we can say I sang for 500. Uh, look, 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 uh -oh. <laughs> 500. Thousand people know. <laughs> yes, half a minute. But since you get energy from from the people, as you see, we got a foreign press. Uh, yes, thank you. you. Just in front of you. <laughs> we have to ask you to, to perform a little bit for us here right now. Uh, which song you you want to see? You want to hear our song again? Yeah, we really want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the stage is yours. Okay. I need my two yeah, you have to move move girls. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> with me. Yeah. For 